Hello everyone. I'm Kathy Kwan. Happy Friday to you all. I'm here to talk about Lingao, especially Lingao to datasets and databases. I'll talk for about 20 minutes or so, and you can write in your question or comments at any time during the presentation. My colleagues, Ben Busby, Peter Cooper, and Lily Hutchison will answer them online. At the end, we will have a conversation via the text box. The conversation in the text box will be recorded and posted on NCBI site. Here's a summary of my talk for today. I'll give you an overview of Lingout, including its current status, highlights, and we'll go into a bit about uh, the mechanics of Lingout behind the scenes. I hope that will entice you to participate in Lingout. At the end, I would like to discuss a bit on how Lingout can work for you and your databases and projects to connect users to your resources. So to summarize it for you again, Lingout is an NCBI linking service allow users to move seamlessly from a NCBI database record to related external resources on the web. The goal is to extend, clarify, and supplement information in NCBI databases. All links are provided and maintained by external parties, and there are many types of Lingout resources, and they are information rich. You probably are familiar with the full text icon on PubMed abstract, which connects you to the full text of the citation. These icons and links behind them are supplied by full text provider using Lingout. The taxonomy record on Gingo Balova include different types of external resources. If you click on the links on BioImage database at Vanderbilt University, you will see pictures and description of Gingo Balova tree. That helps users to understand the plan and its medicinal values. This nucleotide sequence records linked to the page about the HALR1 gene in the mouse genomic genome informatics database to let users understand the context of the sequence. Currently, we have eight NCBI databases accept Lingao links for their record. They spread across different knowledge domains including the literature database, PubMed, sequences database, nucleotide and protein, and NCBI genes, which integrates a wide, wide range of information on genes, and BioProject, which is a collection of biological data related to a single initiative and originated from a single organization or from a consortium. Lingout is not just a link to website. Two unique aspects of Lingout makes it stand out. Firstly, Lingout brings users to resources that are specific to a subject type of a NCBI database record. For example, as you have just seen, we link to the full text of a PubMed citation, not the table of contents of a journal. We link to a subject, a specific session on Gingo Biloba not just a searching interface for BioImages database. Secondly, participation in Lingout is free and voluntary. Links are provided by external parties. Provider decide on the format of links and URL and are responsible for the functionality of the links. The resources stay on their site and they decide who gets to access. This is a very unique collaboration uh, as other systems usually make links themselves, not getting it from the provider. This level of participation by external party reminds me of crowdsourcing on the web. Don't you agree? Technically, Lingo itself is an NCBI database, which consists of links and description about the links. It was developed around the turn of 21st century. As of today, we have 4,061 organizations participating in Lingout. They are from more than 80 countries. We are now linking from over 62 million NCBI database records, mainly from Impulmed, Nucleotide, Protein, Gene, and Taxonomy. His two Lingout resources have jumped to over 40 million per month and or 1.6 million per webday. It has become a popular service among NCBI users and an integral part of scientific and scholarly communication. Most of the Lingo activity has been coming from linking to full text from PubMed citation. 
88% of PubMed records with a publication date from 2000 on have a full text link. More than 530 providers supply full text links to over 8,100 journals. Hit to the full text links account for more than 90% of the link out usage. This can be explained by the importance of this kind of resources and the high visibility of this type of link as the default icon on PubMed Abstract. Link out for library connects user to the full text subscription and print holdings information provided by their home libraries. Sometimes a library does not subscribe to the copy of the full text display by default on PubMed Abstract. Instead, it has subscription to a different vendor. Library Linkout allows a library to select a full text links from a provider that their users can access to. It ensures the links are appropriate for the user. As in this example, USC is actually have access to clinical keys. So the live uh, user clicking their link and will get to their appropriate copy. In fact, majority of the link out provider are libraries. Right now, over 20, 3,200 libraries from all over the world are participating. Focus of today's is actually the third group of the link out resources, data sets and databases. They are becoming more and more important as scientists and funders turn their attention to data dis discovery and access. Currently, we have 246 resources, which cover close to 30 subject types. To name a few examples, in PubMed, LinkOut connect user to raw data of an article in dry data repository, repository and the National Institute of Mental Health data archive. And it also connects users to relevant patterns at the LANS database, which cite the corresponding PubMed citation. In NCBI Gene, we connect users to an alternative gene-centric database like GeneCard for them to compare with the information they found in Gene. We also connect our project users to more genome and metagenome sequencing projects in the on genome online database from Department of Energy. You can see a list of typed of resources from the link out homepage. This is in a list by name. And we also have a list by subject type. I encourage you to explore them and give us feedback. You may ask, why keep external links in a separate database? In fact, this is the beauty of link out. Since linking information, especially those to external resources, is extremely dynamic, keeping link out separate, we can index the linking information frequently without disrupting the main data record. Actually, total re-index of link out database happens six days a week except Saturday. By putting linking information in link out files and pumping them through unified processes, enables NCBI to handle large quantities of external link effectively. The standard data format for LinkOut is in XML defined by LinkOut DTD. Majority of the data are sent through LinkOut XML file. Here's an example of uh, LinkOut links. There are two core parts. The first part is uh, to select the records in the database to link to, and the second part is to uh, provide the information about the base and URL uh, for us to build the URL, actually, base and rule for us to build the URL and then plus the metadata. In order to facilitate participation, we also accept two additional types of a file. One is the standardized tax format, which is using tag data tags. We call it a .ft format, and we also accept the common separated um, values format. We convert these files into XML, a link of XML programmatically for processing. In link of file, a provider can describe their resources with subject type, attribute, and URL names elements. Providers select subject type and attribute from the list provided by NCBI. URL name is a free text field where providers supply a short phrase 
to describe their resources. We welcome suggestion for additional subject type attribute or additional database date, metadata element. Please contact us with your suggestions. In order to facilitate retrieval of these resources, these metadata plus the provider name are grouped to form search filters in NCBI databases. First one is LO Pro filter, which groups links from one provider to facilitate access to information supplied by a specific provider. For example, LO Pro MGI will retrieve all records with links to mouse genome informatics. Second type of filter is the LO sub filter, which will let user retrieve links for a specific subject type. For example, LO sub clones and clone libraries will retrieve all records with links to suppliers providing, providing DNA clones and clones libraries. Third type of filter, LO L otter, which is, will let the user retrieve links for certain link out attributes. For example, the free full text filter is created by grouping the full text links which do not have the link out attribute, subscription, membership, and free requires. One can customize the search result with link out filter using MyNCBI. So here you can see the page for MyNCBI filter function. You can see that to display the filter and link icon for the binding DB and also the uh, HSDB. If you have done so, then your search will have the filter for these two provider, and also their icon will be displayed when you do the search. Lingo is a service to NCDBI databases, so each database presents Lingo resources to determine how to present the Lingo resources. So we have many different flavor. We have, you know, below the full record, like in PubMed and Gene, and on the right sidebar, like the nucleotide protein and bio project, and specialized icon in PubMed again, and also some database integrated with the database record. Here's some example. This is the PubMed behind, below the abstract. And this is bio project on the right side of the sidebar at the end link out to external resources. Come in again, icon. This is a uh, PubCam compound, and it's actually fully integrated into the data record as related record. And this is taxonomy, which also fully integrated into their record. So I hope you're interested in participating. So. If you have resources or you know of any resources which is a, which is a good candidate for Lingout, please write to Lingout at NCBI to participate. And please structure your message in this format. After we receive your application, we'll follow our guidelines to evaluate the resource and application, including consulting NCBI data groups and also subject experts to review the subject matter of a resource. One can find more information about Lingout from the Lingout homepage, including links to the Lingout help menu with everything you want to know about Lingout. This page is also uh, accessible from the PubMed homepage under the more resource column on the right hand side. And this is how it looks like the Lingout homepage. And the provider list on the top bar is going to the list that I just showed you before, so I encourage you to explore them. And, the and click on the tab, Other Resource Provider, will show you a page which particularly geared towards uh, the link uh, provider, like database and data resources. Now you have a basic understanding of Lingo. I would like to, in I would like to invite you to your feedback on a couple of my questions. Data discovery and access have become a more and more important topic. And people agree that discover and access data related to research is important, but not easy. Many aspects have to be explored, to name a few, like standard data element, data citation, data reusability, trustworthiness. Funders like NIH are sponsoring 
initiative and project to explore all these topics. Lingo has been con connecting users to NCBI database to relevant content over 15 years. I'm wondering what can Lingo help to improve data discovery? What roles Lingo can play to connect users with data? I think the four char characteristics of Lingo would help users to connect to data. Firstly, we connect to NCBI databases like PubMed, which are already a part of scientific communication and discovery process for researchers. People agree that adding the context to data sets is important, and linking to publication is a way to do so. Lingo can achieve that for articles with citations in PubMed. Secondly, Lingo is flexible and inclusive, and we do not restrict to a specific types of data set or size of data sets. And we update frequently to include new data links and maintain the functionality and freshness of the links. Thirdly, there are basic metadata for data sets and database to allow users to understand the data being linked to. And there, of course, there are room for improvement in this aspect and also other aspects of Lingo. So I would like to hear from your comments about this.